Kicking us off today is an American bout, Miles Johns versus Kevin Natvidad. So give us a little information about this one. Yeah, so Natvidad's making his UFC debut. I actually really like Johns in this fight. And in my opinion, he's being sold a little low. He's a 10 and one fighter. That one loss is to a guy by the name of Mario Bautista, who is also 10 and one. And his only loss is to Quote Sanhagen. And the best part for me with Johns is I actually really enjoyed the grappling that I saw against Cole Smith. There was a moment in the fight where Cole Smith just had his back the whole time and was locking up triangles and was just switching them up. But the reason he had to switch them up is because, you know, Johns kept rolling to the right side. And for me, like when I say when I see things like that, I'm just seeing a technical aspect, a mental aspect to the game that is just at a little bit of a higher level than you would see an average fighter having. And with with this guy still being nine and one, it's still an LFC veteran. You know, is that the same as a UFC veteran? I mean, I don't, I can't put them in the same in the same bracket. And so his, his, his record is respectable without question, but Miles John is basically ranked level skill. Like this is gonna be a very tough fight for him. And I mean, I'm sure you might have a point on this based on some of the research you've done, but I, I just, yeah, it, you know, kind of going off of what you were just saying there, like his slippery notion, it reminds me a little bit of that Gurum fight where, okay. you know, he would get down, he would get taken down into a little bit more of vulnerable positions, but he would get away from them. He was so smart that he actually never opened himself up to any vulnerability. So, you know, hopefully we kind of see that with Johns. What are you kind of expecting in terms of odds here? I mean, quick shout out, this man brought up a Georgian fighter. Does he love the Georgian fighters more than me or what? And my girl, Absolutely. Liana Jojua, poor girl, I hope the nose is okay. Uh, we really miss you. And, and it was an absolute wonderful fight. I wish they kept it going, but good luck to you. Yeah, I would have loved to see more of that. We would have, uh, sure. we, we really hope to see you soon. Uh, so going on, I mean, looking at the odds for this fight, I mean, we pretty much touched on both fighters. I think Johns is just the most, skill, most more skilled fighter, better trained fighter overall. So I'm looking at a guy who should be, you know, between minus 250 to even minus 300 in this fight. Yeah, and that's kind of what I expected based on your analysis. Actually looking at him, mean, we might actually get some decent value on Johns because he's about a minus 200 cool. uh, favorite. So, you know, that's definitely a great parlay builder for us. I love those odds. I mean, knowing us and knowing the UFC, I mean, we better jump on that ASAP because we know that's going to move. Last week was a prime example of where we some of our... You know, lines were, you know, our boy Rachmanov, let's talk about that, one of the juiciest lines over the course of the week and was fluctuating mm -hmm. more than any other line on that card. And we loved yeah. him. And there it was. You know, we took him. It, it was, it was there, there was actually quite a few that, you know, from the time that we actually exactly. spoke about it to the time we went to go lay on Saturday, mm -hmm. lines had moved quite a bit. So, yeah, cool. stay tuned for that one. But, you know, John's might be one that we kind of lay early here. I love given it. That minus 200.